Next we're going to talk about Dupacolor High Heat Paint. It's a ceramic based coating that withstands temperatures up to 1200 degrees. Now, there's a few steps that's really important before you spray your headers that you need to make sure that you follow. Okay? First of all, when your headers, when you purchase new headers, most of the time they're coated black. Now with this coating, it's not a high temperature coating, it's just a, a uh, paint film just to protect the steel so it doesn't rust in uh, storage or in shipping or that kind of thing. So that needs to be removed. This header, we've sandblasted and removed all of that black coating and left it down to bare steel. You could either sandblast, use aircraft stripper, or uh, sand by hand. From there, let's go back to our prep steps. Use your prep wipe. You're going to wipe down the header. Make sure you get off any of the uh, silica from the sand, from the sandblasting, or any type of other contaminants that may be on it. Wipe that down. And again, with your dry rag, quickly go back over before that dries and wipe it clean. That picks up any type of remnants that the prop rag hasn't uh, caught. Now again, before you spray, you want to make sure that you take a tack rag and tack off any, any sanding dust or any other particles that may be in the surface. So you want to wipe that down. And now you're ready to spray. What I'd recommend when you're spraying a header, don't do the obvious front part first. Do your right real tough sections and just do little quick short jabs. Now with the high heat paint, it has a conical spray which focuses real tight. So again, do all the real tight areas. Now that we got done spraying the header, we now have to go to the baking steps. Recommend taking the header and put it into an oven, set the temperature for 300 degrees, and allow it to bake for two hours. Now while it's baking, you're going to notice that it goes, it begins, it may begin to smoke, or you'll smell a plastic smell. That's actually good, because what you're doing is burning off the resins, that way what you're left with is a heat resistant silicone film. 